A new caravan, now estimated at about 2,000 people, has left Honduras and arrived near the Guatemalan border with Mexico. The new caravan hoping to reach our border with Mexico. Uh, unlike thousands of migrants from last year's caravan, they, camp, uh, they camped out and remain camped out in shelters uh, in and around Tijuana. President Trump today reacting to the new caravan. He tweeted this. Quote, a big new caravan is heading up to our southern border from Honduras. Tell Nancy and Chuck that a drone flying around will not stop them. Only a wall will work. Only a wall or steel barrier will keep our country safe. Stop playing political games and end the shutdown. It's now day 25 of that shutdown. President Trump continues to fight for the $5.7 billion to secure our southern border and make no mistake. Walls do work, and other countries all across the world are using them, battling their own influx of migrants or to stave off uh, terrorists. Currently, there are 65 countries that have completed or have walls under construction. Only 16 countries had walls at the time of the fall of the Berlin Wall. In total, there are at least 77 walls or barriers built worldwide. 45 countries have proposals to build border walls. And since 2015, more than 800 miles of barriers have been built in Europe. Uh, in other words, walls work. We'd like to hear your thoughts about the president's push for a border wall. Share your thoughts. Follow me on Twitter at Lou Dobbs. Like me on Facebook and follow me at Instagram on Instagram at Lou Dobbs tonight. Joining us now, Sarah Carter, investigative reporter, a fellow with the Independent Women's Forum and Fox Business contributor. Sarah, good to have you with us. Your thoughts, Great to be with you. your thoughts about, first, the wall. Uh, we are looking at empirical evidence of every kind. We're told by the Border Patrol, uh, by Customs, by everyone that walls work. They want the wall. Uh, we look around. There are 65 nations that have built them. The walls work. And yet Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer are deniers. It's extraordinary. They're deniers uh, at, uh, based on politics. This is this is all political for them. This isn't about national security. Let me give you an example. So they don't care about the country whatsoever. Well, ab absolutely. At this point, if they're if they're denying what is blatantly in our face, statistics about people crossing the border. Let me just give you one example. Sure. I was in McAllen, Texas, last week. Uh, right. I went down there to report from the border. I was in a particular area near the Rio Grande Valley sector that's patrolled quite often by. Border Patrol. But remember, their resources are slim, so they have Border Patrol scattered busiest throughout the area. Busiest sector for the Border Patrol. Absolutely. Absolutely. Heavy sector, heavy traffic flows. I was sitting on private property uh, of a, a Texan mm -hmm. who owns land there, right near the Rio Grande Valley. And across the border, here come two men crossing the Rio Grande River, coming up the road. Uh, I went up to them. I was speaking to them in Spanish. They had no idea what I was saying. So I realized at that point they did not speak Spanish. I asked them if they spoke any English. They said a little. Uh, I asked them where they were from. They were from Bangladesh. These two men had been trafficked all the way from Bangladesh mm -hmm. through Dubai to Brazil with other SIAs. These are special interest aliens. And the reason that the DHS qualifies them as that, and it was qualified under the Obama administration as well, is because Bangladesh has issues with Al Qaeda as well as Islamic State. So within 15 minutes of me sitting right there in a desolate area of the Rio Grande Valley sector, Two so, men from Bangladesh cross the border, and, and they are talking right. to me. They have no identifiers on them. They have no backpacks. They're coming Sir, to turn themselves in. Sarah, you, you've been covering the border for a, a, a long while, oh, as, yeah. as, as have many of us. I, the idea that the president of the United States has to explain to the American people why a border is a wall is necessary, why it is critically important that we stop the the export from Mexico to our country, the deadliest drugs in the world, whether it's methamphetamine, marijuana, right. uh, cocaine, heroin, are, are fentanyl. fentanyl. I, I mean, yeah. we're looking at weapons of mass destruction here uh, without any question. And yet Schumer, uh, the Democratic, the radical Dems are indifferent to the deaths that uh, occur every year, 70,000 of them from opiate uh, and synthetic opiates. Uh, in this country. What in the world uh, is wrong with this country uh, that we have to explain to people, you know, you really need to protect yourselves and your border and your nation? 
Well, it's unconscionable what the drug cartels, uh, as well as the criminal trafficking organizations, have done not only to our country, but to the people that they're trafficking and the threat that they pose to mm -hmm. our entire hemisphere. I think this is the first time we have a president, at least so far as I've been covering since the Bush administration, a president who is willing to do the right thing, a president that is willing to put his money where his mouth is and, and say, look, I'm here to protect this country. That is my duty as commander in chief. I'm here to protect the United States. A border is necessary. A border wall is necessary. We're a sovereign nation. We have a right to do this. And this is the reason why William Barr, during his testimony today, was so accurate when he said, look, we need to change some of these laws. They have figured out our loopholes. They're claiming asylum, incredible right. fear. And we have people just pouring across the border. And we don't always know who they are. Remember, we only know about the people we catch, not about the people we don't catch. And uh, obviously, one of the, the most uh, one of the most absurd and tragic loopholes is that a MS-13 gang member traveling with a child has to be brought into this country right now under existing uh, immigration law. It's madness itself. Sarah Carter, it truly is always great to see you. Thanks. Uh, look forward to seeing you soon.